Hi, welcome to the channel. Today, and make and do, we're pushing the engineering envelope and making a battery box out of cardboard boxes and duct tape and toilet roll inserts. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Um, I want to build boxes. Um, cardboard boxes in the shape of that battery there. So we can easily make a template. Boxy boxy. And easily then jack up the car. See if it fits in place. And just get, be realistic about what I need to do to be able to fit it in there. Uh, if it's a case that a little bit of the chassis, a little bit just needs to be cut out because the, the shape of the, the petrol tank was very, it's all very curvy, not very squarey. So we just want to see exactly how it will fit. If I will sit down where the, um, the positive and negative points will be, um, I'll have a disconnect back there in the boot somewhere. Uh, where's that going to go? Where are the cables going to run? So yeah, we'll mock up a box and have a play with that because it's a lot lighter than lugging that lump away. Okay, let's cut. gets you a box the shape of a um, 24 modules in the uh, rear bleed pack and who knew that mixgarage.com their boxes all their stuff comes in was 400 by 230 exactly the same dimensions that I use there like a glove anyway there you go Look at that, taking into account the uh, bits of metal there and the contactors and stuff like that. The contactors, the, uh, the what's we call this, the uh, plus and minus terminals. And that's that, so it's it's kind of generous in size, but uh, might as well be a bit generous, especially because I want to try and fit the uh, the casing that was originally around it too. Um, so, Thanks, mixgarage.com. Uh, we'll um, see if you uh, do the job. The car parts experts. Full disclosure here. Uh, there's no paid support from uh, mixgarage.com at all. Mom. Here we are. The lights. Um, here's the cavity left by the tank, and uh, that's where the um, sender and the uh, pump used to be. Quite a, big, quite a bit of space, mounting points. There's our box. Let's have a look. This box fits. That's not too bad. 
I'll show you what's happening. So if we take this back down, the rear trailing arms here. So what's happening is when you put the box up, it's just it's catching here. You can see there and on the far side. So what's pushing it in that direction is obviously um just get some light there is the spare wheel well. So spare wheel well is gonna be used for um what you call it? Spare wheel well is gonna be used for another junction box and some more cabling and probably charger, I don't know. Depends how much weight we want to get back here. So the thing is with this is we don't need spare wheels to go back in there. And cut back some of this. So it's just getting caught, it's just getting wedged on here, boxes. We were able to just take a line up here, make sure we don't affect the structural integrity of this. Um, we should get the box in there. So you can see there, it's sitting, say just below where the petrol tank used to be, up there. So. Again, with that cut out, touch, I don't know, about, say 30 mil, maybe more, give us some bit more breathing space. That battery will fit in there. Okay, another milestone. Um, so we got the motor spinning, that's fine. Via the, the VCU board here, right? So next thing was, that was on the old firmware that I waffled on about the last time. It was version 1.4. So, but we wanted to get 1.5 onto this because that, um, aside from giving you a view into the, uh, what you call it, the um, web portal, so you could see pack, uh, charge and current, and temperature and all that. Um, the other thing it gives you as well is control of the contactors. Um, rather than me having to manual manually trip those switches. Where are they gone? Yeah, rather than having to manually do that. As soon as you turn the ignition, you go through a uh, process, which then switches on your pre-charge brings up the voltage, opens up the main contactor, you get your whole um, pack voltage then through to the inverter. So, yeah, been a lot of um, out of my depth, uh, looking through code and figuring out how this um, VCU works. So after a lot of back and forth on the forums, with a lot of help from a couple of people, um, Finally got it working. So, see how it works? Okay. So imagine then, let's just show you. It is a mess, but believe me, it all makes sense. So we'll come back to this again. What you have here is you have your pre-charge, um, pre-charge contactor here. You have your main con main positive here and main um, negative here. So when we light her up, what you want is you want to activate the pre-charge and the negative. So you can let in that small amount of uh, voltage. You want to charge up the capacitors in here, the capacitors there, but you want to gently go those up to 205 volts, which is what's in the Prius pack here. After that, then when you when you reach the potential of whatever I have it set in the code to um, in the firmware to uh, 190 100 or 200 volts. After that, then when it hits that potential, then second contactor opens, the main contactor. So and that's it. And then when you shut off your ignition, your switch, 
knocks it off. So that's how it is. So what I'm going to do now is, so you can see what's going on. So I have, oh, here's all the, um, here's my schematic that I've been doing. My sketch, my misspent youth on uh, Microsoft Paint. Isn't that glorious? So you have everything here. Obviously your inverter, your motor, high voltage pack, contactors that are in here, 12 volt battery, which powers all the switches and stuff. Leaf pedal out here. That's the, that's the board there. That's all the pinouts. So let's see what happens. So what we do is we get the board lit up here first. So it's all activated. What I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm actually going to get this ready. So, so then I have um, the um, web app there. We'll come back to that later. At the moment, all you can see is temperatures. What's coming in at? Mm, minus 40. Chilly. That'll all populate when we're up and running. So that's live. Um, there's no 12 volts going to this. All it is, this is just being powered up. So when I flick the switch, I'll get this. This is on, um, this is your ignition. So first two clicks you're gonna hear are the negative and the pre-charge. And about a second or two after that, you're going to hear the um, main contactor opening up. So just I'm gonna put in the disconnect and we're all ready, good to go. Check that on so we can check the voltage after. And okay, so here we go. And that's it. That's all fully rigged up now. Now here, you can see we got our 200 volts. And then pedal. Now I need to tweak that a little bit because that came on far too quickly. Um, but uh, all we can do is we can do that. So now we're happy enough with the mechanisms, they're all in place. That set all the contacts and everything in our test rig there for the, um, what's called the uh, Prius pack. Cause that's got everything in, in one, it's all got, it's all con contactors. But um, we need to build something about bespoke for this here. So, um, cause you won't be using the Prius pack. It's too small. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's not suited to recharging, which is why we're going to be using the, the leaf pack. Um, so we build a high voltage junction box with all our bits and pieces we've been gathering in the last few weeks. So it's in essence, it's kind of what we had in the, um, the leaf pack. I could, um, use these but I want to keep these for later I've gonna follow them uh, a plan that's been used um, many times in other builds so I've kind of gone and used similar um, materials and here we are so I want to get a clear lid so when it's in there I'm gonna do it nice and tidy you can see everything there everything that's going on so the lid. so yeah, I'm just laying stuff out here, see how it's all going to come in. So you're going to have your um, positive coming in here. There's your main fuse. There's your main contact, your negative contactor. There's the um, the ISA shunt, the like, current monitor. It's it's everything. It's a BMS. It's it's all sorts. Um, I'll get, it gives a lot of information. So uh, in there, there's the pre-charge resistor there. I haven't put in the, the contactor there. I may use something from here. Yeah, um, go in there as well. What else we gonna have in there? Uh, yeah, a few other bits and pieces, but uh, again, it's just, I'm gonna have a, a plate underneath here so I can just sit everything and uh, rather than drilling through the um, the box itself, I want to try and keep it as watertight as I can. So I'm gonna put a plate, some sort of plate in, so just screw it to the bottom here, and then affix all the components in, and I'm, j I'm just gonna sketch it out tonight. I've just, I've got so many um, examples of um, 
these boxes done up by various builds so uh, I'm just going with the best of the bunch putting them all together and uh, following in their footsteps really so um, that be it I'm going to when I get this when I get the motor in I'm going to use for handiness sake just to get this rolling I'll use that Prius pack because they just plug in the positive and negative once the motor's in and all that and the um, pedal and then we can roll in the meantime I'll be building this but, uh, yeah so yeah again another episode things coming together things getting very close and very happy with um, where I've got now um, it's starting to make a lot more sense the more you dig into it some days weeks go by and you just I don't know what I'm doing and then things just click and um, a lot of help on the form and um, yeah there's a lot of people helping each other out um, back and forth um, a lot of reciprocal knowledge so um, yeah it's good so um, again thanks for watching um, please subscribe share it like it send it around follow me on Twitter and uh, Hopefully next uh, week I'll have an adapter plate and a coupler together so we can start getting the um, what you call it, motor and gearbox in the car. See you later.